Hey, listen up, fuckos, and listen up big time, okay? There's a show. There's a show that I found out that exists, right? And it was on CBS. It was on CBS, and it was about these kids who were dropped in to the fucking desert, and it was like, holy shit, what if we get these kids? And they were like uh, pioneers, and they built back a pioneer fucking city from the ground, and we'll, we'll call it Kids Nation, and we'll be about kids suffering and shit. Well, guess what? We're not talking about Kids Nation because, because, hold on, let me get a deep breath. <laughs> We're not talking about Kids Nation because a YouTube channel named JonTron, that's right, I know you, Johnny boy. Y you did it first, I was gonna do it, but he beat me to it. He even interviewed one of the kids, so that sucks. I can't do, I can't do Kids Nation because then it'll be like copy and, and lame. I don't want to do that. But, but I found something else. I found, I found something else. I found something else. Let's just, uh, let's just roll the intro, yeah? Let's roll it. Hold on, let me, let me just see if this, I can try this. Let's just roll the intro. In three, two, no, hold on, that was gay. Three, two. So I know what you're wondering. What is this thing that I'm about to review? Well, if you can read the title of the video, it specifically states that I'm going to be talking about an old Cartoon Network show that premiered in 2009 when Cartoon Network was going through its whole, yeah, this was real people phase. I'm talking about CN Real, where it was a bunch of shows, where it was like uh, Destroy, Build, Destroy with Andrew WK. I don't even know what the fuck he does, but apparently he, he, he does things. Uh, do what would happen is basically like, you know, ideas you'd come up with if you were on drugs. And they were like, yeah, this is good for kids. And there was a bunch of other shows. There was also Survivor. There was this one called uh, Inside Jimmy's Head, which was really fucking lame. And they had like the cartoon characters in real life. And they were like, oh, Jimmy's schizophrenic. I think that's what it was. I think, because he was actually weird. There was also that one called Level Up, where it was like, you fight video games in real life, and it was like a super cool idea, but they made it suck. There was a natural history, and then there was, I think, I think, let me remember, the last thing they did was Incredible Crew, and only like one of those dudes, maybe like three of them, had actually like successful careers. Incredible Crew was, eh, it was bad. Actually, some of them were pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie, the, the lunchboxing one was pretty fun. Look, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just fucking Google it. But, but I remember one specifically that I watched religiously as a kid that I was like super, super hooked on it because back then I used to think and like believe that ghosts were real and I was like, holy shit, man, fantasmas. And no, they're not real. <laughs> they're, not, they're not fucking real. Not that I know of. I, I did a ghost thingy before and it was, it was the worst trip of my life. It was really dumb. But this show was called The Other Siders and The Other Siders is basically the, the group of, I think five kids and they go and investigate the paranormal shit, all right? So they're like going around places and they're like, yeah, this is spooky, yeah, this is scary. And so uh, that's where we're reviewing today. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like lost media. Well, not lost anymore because I found it on fucking Daily Motion. And if you're interested in watching the show, Daily Motion. Sorry, YouTube, should have had more episodes. But yeah, I hope I don't get sued for showing it because it technically is lost media. Nobody cares about the other siders anymore. Except for me, because I remembered it. Because I remembered it specifically for some reason. But that's what we're reviewing today. So, uh, get your ghost packages up, get your backpacks, get your EMPs, get everything ghost related up and ready. Because we're, we're gonna review the other siders. Spooky. All right, but before I actually do watch an episode, uh, <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've seen. So if you go visit their IMDb page, like the show or the wiki fans or whatnot the show literally got canceled on october 30th and the last episode they did was going to alcatraz and it was like the it was like the big special episode and they were like oh shit bro alcatraz alcatraz that shit's scary and uh <laughs> no dude it was uh it got canceled on october 30th and i don't know why that bothers me so much because it's a it's a ghost show it's supposed to be like a halloween episode and they canceled it on the 30th instead of, you know, why not just premiere it on the 31st and call it a day? No, no, no. Just, uh, Cartoon Network just said, fuck you, dude. We're premiering October 30th. Be good with it. And I don't know. That just bothers me. This show had two seasons, by the way, so 
you know what? Fuck it. It's just, it's just so weird. <laughs> it ended on October 30th instead of October 31st. I just feel like it would make more sense to end it on Halloween rather than to end it on the day before Halloween. It's a ghost show. But anyways, let's just roll the episode, yeah? Giant Leo! Oh, shit! Okay, alright, uh... Let's roll it, yeah? The Other Siders. The team investigates a reportedly haunted Hall of Justice. The wicked Halls of Justice? Who would have guessed that the, that the Halls of Justice would be so cursed and fragile? And to be fair, I don't have political jokes for you guys. I, I'm not good at this part. Workers say the building is haunted by spirits who have been sentenced to more than just jail time. Serving more than jail time. Serving... They, they really dropped the ball on the whole... Could have used the fucking life sentence pun, you know? Like, it, would, it should have been more like... And now, they're serving more than just the life sentence. You know? Like... <sighs> Please hire me if you want some cool... You know. Will the team rule in favor of this place being haunted? I love how... I love how... That's her reaction. Like that. That's how they draw you into the episode. Like she has to go, <gasps> like, oh my god, you gotta know. Like she could be reacting to absolutely anything. Like a fucking an old meme, a college application, actual love and support. I just want you to know that the intro to this TV show is probably the most bitching thing, honestly, I've ever heard of. It's it's a really good theme, and I wish I could play it. But I'd rather just leave it in the links in the description, because I don't know if I get sued if I play it. But, uh, yeah. Song's lit. I used it once, and I didn't get sued, but it, that's that's a project that's in school. So, uh, no reason. I don't know, man. I don't know. place to investigate we also have the black diamond mines okay that just sounds creepy it's creepy it's creepy that's creepy to you dude why are you a paranormal investigator if you think it's creepy like it's like saying if i joined the football team and i was like you're gonna do what tack me no nah, no nah, man that's a lot of work i don't want to get hit sounds like it hurts or if i joined the track team and they're like go run you want me to run no chief i don't want to run sucks too much work don't want to do it also have the Santa Barbara courthouse. Why is a courthouse haunted? It says here that before the Santa Barbara courthouse was built, on the actual land, that's where they used to have a gallows. What are the gallows? It's the structure where they would hang people. Ooh, yeah, that's an explanation. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe why there's paranormal activity. So Hold on, man. We're seeing some real good ghost detective shit going on over here because uh, this man just said people were murdered there. You know what that means? Place must be haunted. Good deductions, man. You are a clear, good, good shit, Sherlock Holmes. Good shit. I like what you do, man. I like what you're doing with the place. There's actually a story here that a guy named Ramon Lopez killed his girlfriend, and he was hanged right on the land where the courthouse is built. He might think he's wrongly convicted, and that's why he's staying around to haunt the place. It's a good point. Let me just, uh, let me just quickly remind you guys that um, this was on Cartoon Network. This is on a kid. This is a kid show, and they're talking about uh, hanging and murders and this dude named Ramon, who is officially like the, the baddie, the baddie bad of the whole place. And he killed his girlfriend there, and he was hung. He was wrongfully convicted, and it's just this was a kid show, and they're talking about straight up fucking murder. Like I understand that the Looney Tunes had some shit back then, but this is straight up murder that is, they're talking about. This is a kid show. Should have been like TP14 or something, you know? Like, I think it was TP14. I don't know. Whoa. Big, isn't it? Yeah. It's been here since 1926. I'm really excited about going to the clock tower because, look, it's like all the way up there, and it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in the entire courthouse. Well, let's get the gear.
I love how they just entered. Like, they just, they just opened the door and everything. Like, was there no security work in that day? Were they just like, stop your kids, don't go in, ah, whatever. You definitely set up base camp here. Set up some cameras. After we set up base camp, we cable four IR cameras to monitor throughout the night. We decided to set up cameras in the hallway, the clock tower, the public defender's office, and the elevator because they had the most reports of paranormal activity. What the fuck? I think I'm being watched. scared but I think something's gonna happen you know what I mean yeah I know you feel guys it's the elevator it's sweet it could be anything causing the people to trip we yeah. don't know it's paranormal so I think we should test it yeah get in there the EMF oh. I got the elevator close nah I'm just fucking with you I just want to make it more fun continue Pretty even to me. Yeah, unless they're tripping over like where like the this. elevator and the floor yeah. like me. Oh my gosh! Everyone's panicking. Everyone's going insane. Everyone's like, oh my god, the elevator, the elevator! And then they just cut to commercials like that. Like they they did the whole sound effect where it was like zoom, and then like, oh my god, elevator! Like was that the best way to end it on a commercial? Elevator close. <laughs> commercial. I really love TV shows when they just cut to the right moment, the most dramatic, intense part, just for the commercial to hit. Like it, oh man, that would have. Why was I hooked to? Why was I hooked to this show as a kid? Why was I? Sam, Zach, and I were investigating the elevator when all of a sudden the door closed totally by itself, right on me. Where the elevator and the floor like me. Oh my gosh! The door just closed by itself. That was weird. You were just slammed in the elevator. No nah, man, you see the elevator was closing and everything? I didn't like it. I'm packing it. Okay. it. Later, so deals. Text me when you get home. I'm out. Well, the elevator and you being crushed. That was kind of weird. Jackie and I thought it may have been the spirit of Ramon Lopez, you know? Yeah. Well, I definitely want to head up to the staircase where there have been reports of paper swirling and this metal door opening and closing, and I really want to see if we can catch that. That'd be really cool to see. I think I'm going to come with you. I really want to go to the clock tower because they play music from there and there's a tape deck and sometimes people can hear like the tape running when nobody turns it on and nobody turns it off. Okay, so this pertains to anything uh, ghost related, both in TV, movies, and video games. If there's a bell tower, if there's, any, if there's anything that has a tower in it and it's a haunted place, you can correctly assume that's going to be the most haunted peak of the whole thing. That's just the biggest horror cliche ever. I, it's just a cliche. Wasn't that the evil elevator from earlier? Why do you, did they just trust the elevator all of a sudden where they're like, well, it almost killed one of our friends. So uh, let's go back inside the elevator. Let's trust it. I don't know, man. I've, I've been on that Twilight Zone ride back at Disneyland. You know, I don't want to just hop into an ele uh, hunt the spooky elevator and just don't want to be part of that story. I don't. I mean, I'm afraid of heights. Just pointing that out. And the elevator just snaps and it's like the 64th building. I'm done though, all right? Like, I just don't want to. Nah. So Jackie and I are going to go investigate the clock tower because they have an old-fashioned tape deck and sometimes people can hear the wedding music playing by itself, like something's pressing play. Whoa. This is so creepy. It smells kind of weird in here. Do you think that's paranormal activity? I don't know, because not many people come down here, so it probably hasn't been cleaned for a long time. That's probably why it smells. You're in a building. 
it's old and you're in the attic where the bell tower is where I assume doesn't get that much recommended cleaning now if you've been inside an old building you you know it smells pretty shitty in there so I don't know why I don't know how ghosts and bad smells are affected with each other it's so weird I don't know somebody explain that to me and then maybe I'll I'll, I'll get you on the right foot but it's an old building dude I don't think anyone's cleaned it so well I would assume that it's just it's poopy in there it does not it's no ghost in there just because it smells bad closes by itself Sam and I are in the office above the spiral staircase where there have been reports of hearing footsteps and wind swirling papers about so we decided to do some call and response to hopefully capture some evidence of that hello spirits it's Casey and Sam and we come here just to investigate we're just gonna ask a few simple questions and hopefully you can answer them I love how every single ghost show, no matter which one I watch, always has them like trying to talk to the spirits, and it's always the same formula. They lay down the thing and they're like, hello spirits, it's us, does anybody want to come talk to us? I'm waiting for the day where like, you know, a ghost actually like manifests itself, and then it goes down for like a Jimmy Fallon interview, and it's just kind of like, it's just, just walking around, it's like, hey buddies. Um, I'm slipping away, you can tell. Could you tell us your name, please? Are you Ramon? No, I'm dead. Got him! <laughs> Got him! Sam? Sam Paul? Oh my god! A sound effect! The door is much more open than it was before. Like, a lot. Like, look. Oh my gosh, Sam and I just heard high-heeled footsteps coming up the spiral staircase. I cannot believe we just confirmed a paranormal report. You mean the- Ah, oh, hell no. Uh, too spooky for me. Oh no. Call me. I know. What's even freakier is that it's confirming the reports that we had. Hello to everybody. Is anyone in the hallway taking pictures? No, but the hallway is right beneath where the stairway is. Okay. There's been like eight flashes. Okay, another one just happened, like lightning flashes. I would suggest someone go and check that out. Over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hustle. Sam and I are on our way. And this is how people die in the movies. This is how they die. When when somebody is like, dude, there's flashing lights. You should go check it out. Uh, no, I don't think you should go check it out. I think you should just, I don't know, dip and run because uh, that's flashing lights. I don't know. They could be spooky. They could be scary. I wouldn't go towards that. That's how people die in the movies. That's how people die. With their curiosity. I would have just said, fuck that shit and left. I like the intense music they're playing. I don't know why they don't release the soundtrack to the other siders. Like this is really good music. It would it would be awesome just to just to have it, you know, like a relic. I don't know. I feel like it'd be cool to have. Casey for base. Go for base. Okay, Sam and I are in the hallway. We're not seeing anything, but we'll look. We'll keep you posted. Okay, because what I saw are distinct flashes, like like eight of them in a row. Over. Where relative to us? Like closer to the camera or farther away? Like right where you guys are. It was the whole room lit up. Over. Could you imagine that it's actually the dude back at base camp who's like just messing around with these guys? Like he's just, you know, like just chilling around. He's all crawling and everything. He's like, hey, look at this. Like it was boof. I don't have a flashlight for this joke. He's just flashing like boof, boof. And he's like, oh guys, there's a light. And everyone else is just kind of like, oh, no. A light. Let's go check it out. Okay, everybody go dark. If there's anybody here with us, could you make those flashes of light again, please? Ramon, are you here with us tonight? And then I hear these kids out of nowhere, and they're like, Ramon, do this. Ramon, do that. Ramon doesn't want to do shit for you kids. Leave me. show us any form of evidence we'd really appreciate it what i saw a shadow oh, okay yeah. yeah like a person 
I saw that. I saw okay, that. no, no. I know when to draw my limits. That's a big no for me. I would have just dipped. I would. I don't care if it's one of the members. I don't know. I don't care if it's one of the janitors. I don't care if it's like the dude back at base camp. I would have dipped straight up. I don't. I'm not messing with that. Nope, not messing with that guy at all. That is spooky. Wait, what? what Shh. I thought I heard footsteps. Nobody's over there. Of course there's no one there. You're ghost hunters. You're looking for ghosts. It's not like Jeremy the janitor is just going to be chilling out while there's kid investigators out there, all right? Uh, maybe it's John Cena. I don't know. Would you take a bigger form, please? <gasps> oh, my God. Nope. Anything up on the flare? You guys, this thermal camera just died. I have a full battery, so it definitely could be sign of the paranormal trying to give energy to itself and taking away from this. Those kids went to the show. They were like, Ramon, for the love of God, do something. And I was like, fine, you kids want show. I give you show. And Ramon passed by. He was like speedy lightning. He was like, whoa. And then I was like, yes, you know what? Fine, you get show. And I take your battery. Because fuck you. That's why. Ramon. Something was definitely trying to get our attention. Yeah. We have so much evidence to go over. It's crazy. Yeah, I think it's time we pack it up and head on home. All right. All right. All right. Good job, guys. After we finish an investigation, we all go back to headquarters where we look over all of our audio and video footage looking for any evidence of the paranormal. Now, I'm no ghost equipment expert or anything, but... I assume that they managed to have cameras like this. You know, it was 2009. I assume they have these bad boys, and the guy doesn't have to be looking at, looking at it like this. You know? It was 2009. I'm sure digital shit existed. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was specific ghost equipment, but it's like, it looks like a camera. Like, it looks like... That's easy. It's just not, not this. This, that looks difficult. Video footage from the elevator, and I saw something I've never seen before. No way. What's happening? Uh, the elevator no. opened by itself. I think the elevator senses that someone's there and needs to go down. Apparently, a ghost wanted to take a ride on the elevator. What if one of us walked by and pushed the button? Because if one of us sent it up, it's going to open like that. It wouldn't open if you weren't in it and pressed a button. Now, I'm no elevator expert or anything, but I would assume that, again, like I said earlier, elevator closes by itself. It doesn't... It doesn't just crush a human being. This isn't the 19 whatever when elevators were invented, all right? These guys got spooked because of an elevator and immediately said, evidence. <laughs> but then again, the way that it opens by itself, I don't know, seems intriguing to me. And then you've got that ghost thing you do on the hot wheel loop. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not a ghost expert. I don't want to intervene or anything. But like, seems spooky. Seems strange to me. Uh, that, that takes some research. It really does. So this is the audio footage from when Sam and I heard footsteps. Casey, do you remember the reports of high-heeled footsteps? Yes, that's exactly what it sounded like. The door is much more open than it was before. Take a listen. Caleb, that was us. I can hear me in the beginning saying that was high-heeled footsteps. Yeah, I can hear, but I didn't hear anything else. else. I just heard a lot of... <laughs> That was me. That's all I heard. Wait, does that okay, but you can tell the evidence that she had was really bad. Like, I think she just literally picked up the camera and was like, Yep, this is evidence to me. Evidence. Do you guys remember when I was back at base camp and I radioed in and I said I was seeing flashes of light at the uh, hallway camera? Okay, there's been like eight flashes. Okay, another one just happened, like lightning flashes. We did get down there pretty quick, and we didn't see any lights, but we definitely saw shadows. Yeah, yeah. I remember the those. craziest shadows. And so I had a camera with me, and this is the footage that I caught. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! <gasps> That's a shadow of a person. One last time, because I'm so epic and cool. I am Ramon. And the shadow that you saw was me. Fantasies. 
Ramon out. Peace. We went over our evidence. We talked about all our experiences. It's time to come to a decision. Do we feel that the Santa Barbara courthouse is haunted? That's it? You guys found like four pieces of evidence? You maybe stayed like, what, three hours at the courthouse? And we're like, well, I don't know, man. We got, we got four pieces of evidence. You made me waste 22 minutes of my life for you guys to just find four pieces of evidence and say, yep, it's ghost here. Like, that's fucking lame. That's so stupid. You might as well just not even present any evidence if you're just gonna present four things that happened. And like two of the things were credible to say that there's ghosts around, the, the loop-de-loop -loop ghost and the shadow. Like, that's it. That's all I can think of that was anything ghost related. The, the speaking and the elevator were really dumb. I'm just gonna, I don't know, that's really lame. <laughs> You sounded like somebody was coming up the stairs. Did you hear those footsteps? Yes, I mean, I definitely think this place is haunted. And I think that shadow is remote. I love how they don't even address that any other people died there. Like, earlier in the show, they were like, oh, people were hung, people were shot here, people died. And they're like, no, it's just Ramon and his girlfriend. Like, maybe Jake from State Farm died over there. Maybe Larry from the SpongeBob died. I don't know. A lot of people died. It wasn't just Ramon and his girlfriend haunting the rooms and... I don't know. My decision. I have to call this place haunted. Yeah, same with me. Just to see those shadows, it was crazy. So I'm gonna have to call it haunted. I mean, I don't know. To me, Ramona's girlfriend were definitely haunting this place. I think a lot of our evidence does lead back to that. Yeah. yeah. Even though I didn't have a lot of experiences, just like listening to you guys and hearing from each and every one of you of either high-heeled footsteps or something falling and then seeing a couple of the pieces of our evidence, I would have to say is haunted. This fucking guy is the lead investigator, okay? He is the he is the head of the heads. And he got spooked by an elevator and immediately said, nah, screw this. I'm gonna spend all my time at base camp and everyone else was getting haunted and spooked by lots of things. And everyone else was like, oh, yeah, you know, it was spooky. We saw shadows and this guy was just at the base the whole time. And just because he hears everybody say oh i was spooky he's like yeah if you guys say so it's spooky like what the fuck man <laughs> you didn't do anything to contribute you just said elevator scary and just went back to base and you just said all right everybody go go and then they come back and they're like it was scary all right so i assume it was scary what the hell the courthouse is haunted because i cannot explain the shadows that we saw or the footsteps that we heard I am terrified of elevators, so while it's trying to crush me, all I'm thinking about is, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die in an elevator, and that's my worst fear coming true. Elevator one, Riley zero. I mean, I'm afraid of heights. I'm super scared of heights and tight spaces, but I can handle an elevator. But this guy specifically was like, I was gonna get crushed by an elevator. Oh my God, it closes by itself. That's lame, dude. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm out of here. Just go. And that was The Other Siders. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is something totally new and different that I've wanted to try for a while. I was going to do Kid Nation, but John Tron beat me to it. And I know he's definitely never going to see this video. But if you do, John, let's hang out or something. You're chilling. I don't know. I'm joking. <laughs> Other than that, you know... There's a lot more episodes. I don't want to review all the episodes because I just wanted to review just one. Just because I remember this thing. But, um, honestly, it's not a bad show. It's, it's really average. It's, it's a kid's ghost show. They're not going to go aggressively gross or anything. It's anything you expect from tweens looking for ghosts. It's not bad, okay? It's not, it's, they're just doing what they were told. They're just doing this show for fun. They look like they were having a good time, and, you know, I'm, I'm just bashing it because I thought it'd be funny to do. But, you know, it's not a bad show. I'm still really... It still bothers me that this show was canceled on October 30th instead of just canceling on October 31st. But, you know, I'm no Cartoon Network executive. So, anyways, with that, I'm gonna just uh, drop the video for now. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever, big dealio. Oh, oh, and if any of the outsiders, other si outsiders, if any of the other siders, if any of you guys like managed to watch this video or anything, if you're super down to like, uh, <laughs> do like a zoom call or anything like I'm down to hear anything else that went down from this story like I'm super interested 
on like anything if you're still ghost hunting or anything. So if any of the other siders, like any cast members and whatnot, if this video manages to like actually reach out to one of you guys, seriously reach out to me. I'm super interested in just, like getting to know what happened. I want to know. But other than that, you know, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, go watch my gaming channel. It's cool. I got like maybe a couple of things going on right now over there. I might start streaming soon, but I need more subs before I do that because I don't want to just stream to like two people. Be like, what's up, guys? You know? But other than that, guys, I hope you guys, again, enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay good, mis amigos. Adios.